Today's video is going to give you the top five tips for success on defense in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video one of the things I wanted to talk about was trying to help you guys get better on offense with the new season coming out and I want to teach you the top five tips for success on defense in Madden 18. Defense is much different this year I think than it ever has been and that's because the the general consensus for most people, if you ask them what is tougher to beat, if you ask the offense what is tougher to beat, the blitz or coverage defense, I would argue that this season, more than any other season, it is very difficult to beat a standard cover four or a standard cover six or you know a standard coverage, more so than ever before. Um, it's very, very difficult because the routes take so long to develop and get open. That's the major reason why it's so hard. The routes take so long to develop and get open. So because of that, that changes everything for me in terms of how am I going to play defense in this year's game? How, how am I going to really, truly make sure that my defense is on point? And here are five ways that you can do that. The first thing that you can do on defense is is to have a clear and concise plan that's going to help navigate your game plan. What I mean by this is to simply go into, into practice mode. Again, it's not, not anything crazy, not anything too special, but to go into practice mode and really try to gather a clear a clear plan for your defense, whatever that may be. So whether that's, I want to run cover four or I want to run cover six or like whatever the plan is, make it clear and make it concise. Those, those are the really the critical elements to this. You have to have a clear and concise plan. So for me, the meta this year, one of the things that's really popular, one of the things I would suggest is to run more cover four. I think cover four is uh, one of the better defenses in the entire game. Um, it is very difficult to beat as an offense. It's it's very, very difficult to beat a cover four. So run more cover four because it does two things. The first thing that it does for you is it forces the offense to have to really play the cloud flat, hard flat game, which is, I don't like, I know I personally don't want to play that game. And I, I don't think anyone really does if you're on, if they were honest with themselves. The hard flat and cloud of flat game is a game that you do not want to play because oftentimes the the routes will surprise you. And the cool part, um, as you can see, this guy's doing a really good job on his defense with mixing in that cloud flat, hard flat thing, so I can't really identify where to go. The second tip that I have for you, so the first one is to run more cover four. The second tip that I have for you is to make every play look the same. This is one of the most critical tips. This has been around for years in Madden, and it's it's more, probably one of the most powerful tips that I can give you, really anyone could give you, is to make every defensive play call you have look absolutely identical. Okay, Make everything you have look absolutely identical. So what I mean by that is pre-snap, you want to use the base align and either the show blitz or the baseline and press feature, and that's gonna do a really good job of helping you make everything look identical. Because when everything looks identical, it's very difficult for the offense to identify what you're doing. It just becomes very uh, challenging for them, in my opinion, um, to, to be able to identify it. So make everything look the same. That's something that I have done for years, and it's probably been one of my major secrets to success in Madden. Okay, so make everything look the same. Run a lot of cover four. The, the third thing that I want to encourage you to do is to not be afraid. Um, oh, crap, I got to make this tackle. Ah, Rod Woodson, you got to make that tackle for me, buddy. Um, the, the third thing that I want to encourage you to do on defense in this year's game is to not be afraid to use the middle linebacker. Um, this, is, this is very critical for most new players. They don't want to use the middle linebacker. And there's a really critical tip that I'm going to be sharing in tomorrow's video. So if you want to get that tip about usering, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll be able to get you that tip uh, tomorrow. You could subscribe by hitting the button below. But the real core concept of this is to basically get off the defensive line. If you get off the defensive line and user the linebacker, it opens up so many things for your defense. And there are situations where 
um, you want to almost mimic what the computer would do. But there's also situations when you're going up against very specific players and different routes that you can really gain a lot if you get off of the defensive line and choose to user um, somebody else. So again, you want to get off the defensive line at all costs. Um, just at least go to the middle linebacker. The middle linebacker controls so much of the game. Um, it's it's actually pretty crazy. So one of the biggest tips that I have for you is to get off the linebacker. The fourth major tip that I want to encourage you to do in this year's game, defensively, the fourth major tip that I want to encourage you to do is blitz very wisely. Okay, blitz very wisely. A lot of people... They get the game and they just start blitzing and they run blitzes that don't work. They run blitzes that, that are not good. So what you want to do is you want to find one. You could find blitzes uh, in many different ways. One of the best ways to do it is by um, either subscribing to my YouTube channel or there's other YouTube channels out there that can really um, help you get a good grasp on on um, on good on good different blitzes. So try to try to do something like that. The, the, the thing with that is we're going to give you the plays. We're going to give you the tools that you need to be successful. The question that you got to ask yourself is how often do I blitz? You ultimately can only make that call. And I suggest blitzing once every six to 10 plays. So, so basically, um, if you have one series of, of play calls, you want to blitz probably one time. Okay. You don't want to blitz more then once per drive, or not once per drive, but once per series of downs. If you blitz more than that, normally the offense is going to destroy you in this year's game uh, with the way that the out routes work, um, the way that it's very difficult to, um, if you blitz, it's very difficult to blitz in general because um, because of the, the way that the game kind of plays blitzing this year. And the it, what that what I mean by that the way the game plays blitzing is that this year's game more than ever makes people pay for making mistakes on de on on defense. So like right there when I on when he had the ball at the and he scored that long run it was because I made a defensive play calling mistake and I got burned for it. So again what I'm trying to get at here guys is it's really, really critical for you to run basic plays on defense this year. Um, so like cover four, cover two, you know, those are the plays that you want to run. You don't really need exotic plays on defense. You really need simplified plays. And then the last tip that I have for you on defense this year is to focus on this this right here. This is probably one of the most powerful tips that I can give you if I, if I really want to help you get better. I want to encourage you to spend a significant amount of time focusing on your red zone defense, which is the defense that is from the 20 yard line and in what, what are you going to call there? And I would recommend some type of three, four cover four. Um, but not just that. And you're going to have to do more research. You're going to have to do more um, learning, but I'm just telling you right now, if I could give you one tip, it would be to have a ridiculously powerful and strong um, defense inside the 20 yard line. What, you, what I mean by that is that if you hold, a de hold your offense, if I could have held him to a field goal instead of a touchdown on the last drive, I would have gotten so much more out of my defense because then I'm only down one possession. Field goals are the key to being good on defense this year. Holding your opponent to field goals and then on offense being able to execute for touchdowns, that is what makes a really, really good player in Madden 18. So just want to encourage you with a couple of different tips. But those are the top five tips to improve on defense in Madden 18. Here's what I want to encourage you to do. Um, I know that I can only cover five tips and I only have a couple of minutes, but... What I encourage you to do is hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would ask you to consider doing that because what that's going to do is that's going to give you access to much more content, much more tips, much more strategy videos that are then going to help you get better even more. So 
just consider to hit that subscribe button. It's at the bottom left of the screen. It's, it's a big thing that says subscribe. Hit that button, and uh, we'll we'll ask we'll 